I cut a test cover out of uh, some MDF just to test out the router program. And so it's just exactly the same size as the hole, so it won't go in, which is good because I need to clean the edges up on this and on the piece of metal that's going to go in there. So once I do that, it should fit pretty well. But this guy just I kind of got him in there for a second, but it's just a little too tight, which is actually where I want it. So I've just finished cleaning up the hole. <clears throat> All the edges feel really good. So now I'm fitting this inspection cover. So I purposely want them to be a little tight. And so this one's a little tight there. Check it this way. That's actually not too bad. It's a little off this end. And then to check it <clears throat> this way, it's, it's big that way too and just barely fits that way. So I'm just gonna work on it one, one size at a time. That's good. I'll work on this end a little bit. All right, so it's there. Might be a little tight. There it fits. It's at the top, it's at the bottom. So that's close enough. And the reason I'm making it fit now is I am going to screw this cover to its inspection ring and when I have this sheet off I'm going to put it in the hole and I'm going to from the backside drill the rivet holes for the the mounting ring and <laughs> so I need it to fit up in the hole it doesn't have to be perfect it can get some final fitting after the ring is riveted in place and I do a final fit to put this in I'm dimpling the holes on this ring so that I can install this cover plate. And then I'll have an assembly that I can lay in the back of the bottom wing skin and drill the outside holes to get those holes in the right spot. So these are all prepped. So now I'm just dimpling them. I've got the number three dimple die set up in here. I've clamped the crimper here in the couple between a couple blocks of wood and a clamp so that I can just have it sitting here and just make my way down. Nail dies on the bottom, it just makes it a lot easier. So I dimpled for the 632 screws on the inspection ring. So now I'll do it on the cover. I'm working on putting the nut plates on the rings for the uh, inspection covers. So here's one I finished. And then this one has the cover on it already so that it's ready to uh, be used to drill the wing skin. And I've just kind of set up my squeezer in bench top mode. To install the nut plate, I've been taking one of the 632 inspection cover screws, putting it in there, just screwing down the nut plate till it hits the locking mechanism. Got a long number three rivet here that I'll put in one of the holes, going to keep everything in alignment. And then I'll put a number three by three and a half, which works out perfect, rivet. Put it under here, make sure everything's pretty flat. Give it a sh small squeeze, because I still want to be able to move things around a little bit. Put the other 
rivet in. This is a number three by three and a half. Slide it underneath. Squeeze it all the way down and finish this one off. And that seems to work pretty good for me. Take the screw out and go to the next one. I've removed the bottom wing skin, so I'm fitting the inspection covers to the back side of it. So there's one I've completed. And over here, I'm setting up to do another one. And I'll just go through kind of how I'm doing it. It's a little bit of a pain, but it works. So I'm going to put this inspection cover in place and drill for the ring there. So I made this frame, and it's just a little bit larger than the hole, and I'm going to put it underneath. And I've got the ring with the cover screwed down, and I'm going to set it upside down, just the way it'll sit permanently. So now I can go underneath through that ring get it all lined up. I've got a big weight I'll put on top of here and then I can drill all the holes. So here's the view from underneath with an inspection mirror. See that corner there is pretty close to lined up. This one here too, same thing. I'll go down to the back corner. Everybody's pretty close. So I'm going to take and put my weight on. And that'll push things in place. Looks fair over there, a little bit up. Yep. And now it's all sitting in, in the groove. You can look from all the way around. It's sitting in there just where it's supposed to. So now all I have to do is drill from the top. Now they've got it centered up and I've got the weight on there. I'll just drill the corners and click them. So here it is on the finished side after I've drilled all the holes and Clico did it in place. So that one's done. I'll do the other three that are left on this sheet. So here's all the covers Clico'd in place.